Um, this is the solution for one of the exercises I gave to, to my student, and I hope you uh, enjoy it. Uh, exercise is about creating a basic uh, shopping cart, and <coughs> I'll show you how it works, sorry for that. Uh, first, we put the product ID, and we will say product ID is uh, uh, iPhone, uh, and we're buying three iPhones, and each one is 2,500 dirhams. So if you click add, it get added. Then I'll buy Samsung uh, S8, and then I'll buy five of it. I like it. So 2,225, and then add it. Now if I want to delete any, I click on, on this, it gets deleted and I can add more. Okay, so the code is very uh, simple one. We have HTML uh, file where just this is where you maybe you need to focus. Where we have here the three uh, inputs, uh, labels, inputs, and that's it. So the first one is you call it P name, which is this one. Give it IDP name. This the second one. I get it qu quantity, and the last one is price. And on click, it call a function called add item, and the function is here. And here I have just a place where to show the uh, table. This nice table, and this is the CSS, which uh, very simple CSS to do. Now the JavaScript, we, I'm using three arrays here. The other way you can use multiple multi-dimensional array, but we're not getting to that at the moment. Uh, so that three arrays, one array is to store the names of the product, the other one is the quantity, and the third one is the price. Now, these arrays are outside, they are global, so it can be used by all the functions I have in, in my code. They are not inside any function. The first function is the one we know add item, this is bas basically what does it push every item to the array. So push the uh, I names, uh, the, the value I enter here to the I names, and this one, the other one is to the quantity, and that's it. And using just the simple uh, line that we are familiar with, here I'm using product, uh, uh, I'm using ID P name because I declare it here as, as a P name, and so on. So this basically does push them all, add them to the array. So every time I click on add, it gets add another array, uh, another one to, to the array. So let's make this one 66 will buy. So now you can see it's added. Good. After it does that, it called this function, which will display the table. The function display the table is here. Again, it's not that complicated one. Display card, I call it. I started by... Uh, declaring a, a string that will store for me the whole table, the whole data, which here. And the first line we have here, starting a table and going in until closing TR, is basically this line. So we're starting a TH, table head, and then product name, closing it, and starting another one, and that's it. Now I have a variable called total equal, equal zero, and then I go through a loop. So this will be used to collect the total for me, which which basically this total. So we're going for i from 0 until uh, less than uh, the, the total uh, length of the array. And we're familiar with this one. We have done it in previous uh, exercise. And then incrementing i. Now the first line calculating the total. And I, you can say use plus equal because I'm accumulating all those uh, totals. So the total for the first row is basically quantity multiplied the price. So that's get me this total. And so on. Yeah. So this one is done and added to the overall total. So later it can show me the total which I have, I have here. Okay. That's easy one. Then the next line is to build this part of the table. The middle part of the table. So this one I'm using a TR, table row, then adding I names, I, which at the beginning is zero because the loop goes from zero, and then price zero, and basically get all those data which stored in the array uh, displayed. 
Now, the last one is how I'm getting the delete button. The delete button, basically, I'm adding a button here. As you can see, this is my button. And what I use, I use a function called delete till element. I did call it that way. I'm passing to that uh, function a variable i, which at the beginning zero. So this one, when you click on it, it will delete element zero. This one will delete element one in terms of index. And this will delete element two in terms of index, which is the third element anyway. And i go on. So this is why the i is outside, because it's, it's a variable that's changed based on the loop. And this stored different here. So when user click on it, if I click on deleting this one, it's gone. So they keep going. Yeah? Done. Now, that's good. Now, the last thing I have here outside the for loop is the overall total, this row, basically. This row here I have is added at the end. You can see it's empty column, empty column, empty column, until the last one I come in and I put the total. So this number coming here because of that total. And then closing the whole table, finish the table. Now, this line will display the whole data, the whole table. I'm using inner HTML, which we're familiar with, used many times, and, and do that. Now, how I delete an item, so when I click here, it, it goes to delete element, which another function I have here. So function delete element A. So I'm passing I there. Here I'm passing it as I. It comes here as A. Okay. Then I use A to delete it. And this is one of the methods in in arrays in JavaScript, supplies, it allows you to delete an element starting from an index. So if this is zero, starting from zero, how many elements you want to delete? Only one. If it is one, starting from one, how many elements? So I'm deleting only one element, so this is always one. And this one is the index, which element I want to delete. So if I click on this one, this is now is the second element, which one? The index is one, so A is one. If I click, it's gone, disappear. Now if I click here, array is gone. There's nothing in the array. Now I start adding to the array, and it start get uh, busy. Yeah. So that's it. Then once I deleted those items, any item I deleted, I want to refresh the table. So I call back display cart, which my 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 function here, and that's simply how it is. Okay, now there are a few limitations with this one, which I want you to work on it, it should be simple. If you put here 0.5, okay, and click add, you will see it's not counting that 0.5, it's using only whole numbers. How you can change that one to accept uh, a decimal uh, number? I leave that one to you. Thank you.